Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to trade, stake, and yield farm on Bakery Swap. So let's get started. All right, so I'm here on the Bakery Swap homepage. Bakery Swap is a decentralized exchange which runs on the Binance Smart Chain, and you can do a lot of stuff on Bakery Swap. Uh, it, you can, of course, trade. You can swap tokens. Uh, there is a mechanism for you to add liquidity, very similar to Uniswap. But you've got a lot of other things you can do. You can reinvest your liquidity tokens, stake them for rewards. Uh, you can also stake individual tokens for other types of tokens, reward tokens. Uh, they have combos, which are NFTs, or non-fungible tokens that you can buy uh, to hold, and they'll also allow you to earn while you're holding them. They have an NFT supermarket where you can buy non-fungible tokens, uh, pet eggs, which are very similar to the Crypto Kitties, if you remember back in 2017, and then of course those combo combos, which I mentioned earlier. So there's a lot going on here, uh, but before you can jump in, you are going to need a Binance Smart Chain capable wallet, and you're gonna to need to get some tokens into that wallet. So the first thing I'll show you uh, is the wallet. Now I'm using MetaMask. Now normally when you use MetaMask, it's set by default to the Ethereum mainnet network. And you're gonna to need to change that if you wanna use your MetaMask with the Binance Smart Chain. If you'll notice here that I have already got the Binance Smart Chain Network set up in my MetaMask. Now, I've got some great guides here uh, that I'll put down in the description, which give you all of the settings that you're gonna need to enter into your MetaMask in order to get this set up. So if you check up here at this little icon here, you'll go to the account interface, and then at the very bottom is settings. Right, you're just gonna go down to settings and go to network, and then you'll scroll down to the bottom and you're gonna add a brand new network. And you'll put in all of those settings that I showed you here on this page for the Binance Smart Chain. If you look at mine, you can see that I've already got all of this set up. I've given it a name, a URL, uh, some other settings to configure it, and you're good to go. All right, so once you have your MetaMask wallet uh, set up and open and uh, set onto the Binance Smart Chain, you can connect it to Bakery Swap. Right? You uh, you're basically just going to connect your wallet and choose MetaMask. If you want to get tokens into this uh, Binance Smart Chain wallet, uh, you're going to need to convert some of your tokens. Uh, for example. Uh, BNB tokens. Now there are a few ways to do that. One of the easiest ways is to just go over to Binance, right? And if you're in your Binance wallet, you can withdraw your BNB into a Binance Smart Chain wallet. So as you see here, if I just go over and get the address of my Binance Smart Chain wallet, like this, it will just copy that address into my clipboard. I can run over to Binance and withdraw any BNB that I've just bought over to the Binance Smart Chain, right? Just put in that Binance Smart Chain address and I'm good to go, right? I'll be, I can withdraw my Binance coin directly from Binance into a Binance Smart Chain wallet using this feature right here. You could do the same thing with Bitcoin too. If you uh, bought some Bitcoin or had some Bitcoin in your Binance account, you could simply do a withdraw of your Bitcoin. And you'll notice there that you have the option to withdraw your Bitcoin to a Binance Smart Chain address. You just uh, paste it in there and you're good to go. So if you have access to Binance, it's very easy to withdraw directly to a Binance Smart Chain wallet. Now, if you don't have access to Binance, there are a couple of other ways to do this. One of them, is the Binance Chain Wallet extension for the Chrome browser. I'll put a link to that down in the description below. 
if you deposit your normal BNB coins into this wallet, uh, it's a cross-compatible wallet between the regular Binance network and the Binance Smart Chain network. So if I were to try to send some of this Binance over to my Smart Chain wallet, you'll see there that it will do a cross-chain transfer, and then you're able to do that. Another good way of getting uh, cryptocurrency into a Binance Smart Chain compatible wallet is the Binance Bridge. You can see here that I can connect this wallet to my Binance Smart Chain wallet, right? And then there's the Smart Chain address destination, and I can send all kinds of tokens from a normal wallet or a normal cryptocurrency exchange through this bridge into my Binance Smart Chain wallet. So I'll leave that part up to you. I'm gonna put a couple of videos up there in the corner that kind of walk you through this process. So uh, I invite you to check those out. All right, but let's just assume that you've got your wallet connected and you've got some crypto in that wallet ready for trading, right? The first thing that we would like to do is maybe go to the exchange. And as you can see here, it's got my BNB balance. I've got some BNB in here and I can buy some tokens with that. So I could buy various tokens here. I could buy some pet token if I wanted to, like maybe choose one BNB there to buy some pet token and then just hit swap. And then we'll confirm that. And then we sign it with our MetaMask wallet. As you can see, it's the Binance Smart Chain wallet. We'll just hit confirm there. And then we'll close that. And you see it confirms very quickly and very cheaply. That cost me about 10 cents. A lot better than trading on Uniswap where the fees are very high and the waits are very long. All right. Now, why don't we uh, create a liquidity pool? Because we can trade back and forth between all kinds of tokens here on the bakery swap uh, exchange. But now that I have some tokens, why don't I set up some liquidity pools? I can go over here to pool. I can choose add liquidity and you have to use pairs for this. So I'll do a BNB and pet, right? You saw me just buy some pet there. It's not a lot, right? Since I have a lot of BNB and a little bit of pet, I'll just max out the pet that I just bought and I'll match that up with some BNB tokens. All right. Uh, now you might need to uh, approve pet tokens, right? You just click the approve button and you'll sign it with your MetaMask wallet. I've done that in the past, so it didn't ask me to do that. But don't freak out if you see that, right? Uh, I'm going to hit supply here and I'll confirm that supply. It's going to give me 33 BNB PET pool tokens, right? I'm going to deposit my BNB and my pet tokens. And in exchange, they're going to give me pool tokens, liquidity pool tokens. I'll hit confirm there. And then I'll sign the transaction with my MetaMask. As you can see, that's not a lot of BNB. I'll confirm that. All right, and then we can close this out. Now that we've got those liquidity pool tokens, we can do more with that. We can go over here to earning. And you can see there's some hot uh, liquidity pool tokens here. Like we can earn PET by using those PET BNB liquidity pool tokens. I'm basically just going to stake those tokens to earn extra PET or PET. So I'll just hit select here. And then I'm going, going to approve the liquidity pool token by clicking this button. I'll go ahead and sign it. It's going to cost me four cents. Not a big deal. I'll hit confirm there. I'll wait for that. All right, and then that gets approved very quickly. I'll go ahead and hit this plus here. And there's those 33 liquidity pool tokens. We can stake those by putting them on deposit here. We'll confirm that. Sign it with our uh, MetaMask wallet. All right, and there we go. Now you can see that I've got the 33.611 liquidity pool tokens staked in this interface. And now I'm earning PET tokens or PET tokens, right? And then uh, we can go back over here and you can see 
that uh, I've already got some PET bake tokens staked, right? When I hit select here, uh, those are the amount of tokens I have staked, and there's my bake that's being earned, and I can harvest those so that they go into my wallet. So if I hit harvest here, and then I hit confirm, I can harvest those 20 bake tokens, and they'll go into my wallet and show up in my balance. All right, and there we go. Now we can go over here to my MetaMask wallet, and we can see the balances for these different tokens here. All right, so you can see here uh, my bake balance. All right, now if that wasn't enough, there's also some other things that we can do with our uh, standalone tokens. As you can see over here, I could just stake bake only, not the liquidity pool tokens, just stake bake to uh, get weapon, which is another component of this site. Uh, pretty interesting and fun site to uh, use. We'll hit select here. You can see I've got bake uh, staked from last night and I'm earning weapon tokens. So that's pretty cool. Now let's check out their NFT. This is really the unique part of this site. Uh, you can buy NFT tokens using your bake tokens, as you can see. Now these are pretty expensive. Uh, these are a few thousand dollars each. So only for the uh, connoisseurs or uh, brave at heart, right? Of course, remember that anything that you invest in uh, with crypto is a very risky investment. You have to be mentally prepared to lose your entire investment, right? So don't mortgage your house to buy NFT tokens, right? But this is a very unique marketplace. Now, notice they also have these pet eggs that we can buy using Bake as well. So uh, these are relatively inexpensive. So you can buy these eggs. You can pl actually play games with them. Uh, I mentioned these bakery combos, which are not too expensive. This uh, basic here is uh, around a couple, it's just a couple hundred dollars, right? These other combos are a little more expensive as you get higher and higher in the tiers, right? Uh, now, the nice thing about an NFT uh, on the bakery swap site is that they can earn bake tokens for you while you hold them. All right, so if we go over here to combo, we go down to my combo, you can see here that I bought one of the inexpensive combo and I'm currently staking, right? So uh, this particular combo has uh, 30,000 bake staking power and I'm earning bake while I hold this NFT. Now, an NFT is simply a non-fungible token, which just means that it's unique, right? Uh, it's not like a Bitcoin where one Bitcoin is equal to one other Bitcoin. An NFT is a unique token that has its own individual value. Now, this particular token that I own, uh, at some point in the future, they'll have a NFT trading place where I could sell my token on the open market. It might end up being worth more than I paid for it. But keep in mind that investing in cryptos is not a sure thing, right? So let's check out this. Uh, we've looked at these NFTs. Let's see what else they got over here. Oh, that's coming soon, right? And another thing about this bakery swap site is every time I go on here, they're adding new stuff, right? It's really cool how uh, it just keeps getting more fun each time I go up here. Let's check out this launch pad. See what this is. Oh yeah, I've seen this before. This is where you can actually battle uh, those pets that you buy, those NFT pets. I have not tried to do this yet. Oh, uh, it looks like this one's over. So there should be a new one coming up soon, right? So there's all kinds of stuff uh, going on at the bakery swap. All right, so if you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.